Good Monday morning. It's Memorial Day, a day where we remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice, those who never got to take the uniform off, those men and women who died serving our country. And it's on days like today that we remember our relatives and friends who have served in the armed forces to protect our freedoms and rights, but today is a special day because it is to honor the ones who didn't make it back to their families alive. It's a day of remembrance of their sacrifice for all of us and the loss that their families have and still endure. It's a day to remember. Our scripture for today finds David in a time of remembrance also. Let's get our Bibles and turn to Psalm 66, and we'll be looking at verses 13 to 16. And you can follow along as I read Psalm 66, 13 through 16. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings and fulfill my vows to you, vows my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you and an offering of rams. I will offer bulls and goats. Come and hear all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. The psalmist has spent the earlier part of this hymn of praise recounting great deeds of God in the past, and he's now filled with gratitude and confidence. And just as we remember those who died on this Memorial Day, it's our part to remember God's deeds and praise God so that our hearts remain confident and trusting in all circumstances. Now, as John Newton put it in one of his hymns, his love in times past forbids me to think he'll leave me at last in troubles to sink. These deeds are not just the things he has done for you personally, but also include Jesus' sacrifice of his own life for you. Now John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Remembering God's past love is the only way to face present stress with confidence and poise. Now, for our closing prayer, I would like to recite a line from John Newton's song that I quoted earlier, Be Gone Unbelief. So let's pray. Lord, since all that I meet shall work for my good, the bitter is sweet, the medicine is food. Though painful at present, wilt cease before long, and then, oh, how pleasant, the conqueror's song. Lord, may your spirit and your song ring true in our ears as we continue to live and work for you. Amen. Now, as a reminder, these devotions are based off the book from Timothy Keller titled The Songs of Jesus. And yes, these are the devotions I use, and I am very pleased to be able to share them with you also. Friends, today, take time to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice of laying their lives down for you, even the ones you don't know. And don't forget to honor Jesus who laid his life down, not for your rights and freedoms, but for your eternal soul. Friends, be blessed today and every day. And I'll see you again tomorrow.